Hey guys, and welcome to the madness. As you can see on your screen, I've transformed myself into a purple mist sexy crab lady, but today I'm not in charge of my own body, it seems, or the Sunesh army. This is a bow between Captain Morgan and the mighty world beater. Captain Morgan, a true champion amongst you who uh, enjoy land bows. He submits so many fantastic replays for the channel. He's been on like three times already this week, and he's back with another classic showdown. It is Sunesh versus Grand Cafe. So for the front line of Snesh, we have a load of Marauders of Snesh. Cheap, cheerful, just happy to be here and get the job done. In the backup line, as well on the flanks, we have Demonettes of Snesh. Big fan of this unit if you can get them to work. I've seen a lot of people just chuck them in the front line and it doesn't tend to go too well. You can certainly saturate them in in front of your front line or amongst your front line, I should say, but they're definitely best on the flanks where they can use their devastating flank ability and their low armor and so on isn't so bad if they're hitting the enemy from the rear and the flank. For a load of flyers, we have triple chaos furies over on the far side. Pretty much a necessity up against Grand Cafe, who can come in with so much range firepower, you need something to shut them down. Lurking in the trees, we have the Seekers of Slanesh, a uh, fantastic unit and honestly has been since launch. They've been very, very popular and you can see why, but they're going to be lurking in the trees for now, waiting in ambush. In the very back, we have one unit of the Seeker Chariots, but more impressively, in the middle, we have a Cultist of Slanesh, as well as a Herald on the Chariot. This Chariot is a fin of disgusting beauty. It will rip, tear, puncture, and just sever limbs and heads like no tomorrow. She's going to be coming in today with Acquiescence, as well as a Lash of Slanesh. We have the Portal Glyph to summon some na rather nasty Furies and Locus of Grace. Pretty cool to see these spells in action. They're relatively often picked, these two. Normally, I like a Slicing Shards as well, personally, but it can be a little bit expensive. But being on the chat it really gives some nice mobility advantage. In the sky for Grand Cafe, Triple Great Longmar Rider is going to be escorting a Dragon Blood Lord of Yang Magic. Interesting to see the Yang Magic. Normally, it's Yin that I see it the majority of. We have Dragon's Breath as well as a Jade uh, Shield, which is pretty cool. In the ground force, we do have Halberdiers, a guard on the flanks and rear, Jade Warriors in the front, and uh, it looks like a central portion of Jade Warrior Crossbowmen. But really, a decent chunk of this has been invested into the Air Force, which is quite smart up against Sunesh. Sunesh can only bring Furies, Great Longmars can counter Furies relatively successfully, particularly in such numbers as here, and that means you're going to be able to cycle charge the, the rear of the enemy formation, bog in their cavalry, always get the charge and so on with your Great Longmar Riders. So I like this Grand Cafe build quite a bit, though it may be considered a little bit uh, off-meta and strange. It looks like a load of shots coming on the Herald, my god! It, she only does have 40 armor despite being on the chariot, so those crossbowmen really can uh, puncture their way through her light armor rather comfortably. Great Longmars just at the moment mirroring the Sinesh Force, trying to figure out where to land and what's best to do. Definitely jumping on top of the Seeker Chariots would be quite nice once they get in the back line attempting to, to dismantle the Jade Warriors. Now the Chariots come crashing in the front, likewise do the Warriors beating their shields in a war cry as they clatter into the Jade Warriors. Furies also swipe down and all of a sudden it is going to get very, very messy. Much like the Dwarfs, it often comes down to can Grand Cafe get a good middle game to set up their late game once they do get jumped. But that fire attack, Jesus! Hail Sigma, Marauders of Snesh, as well as Demonets, get slaughtered by Jade Warriors because a beautiful dragon fire. Really uh, underestimated that spell I have. Kels Fury is doing a decent job, and in come the Snesh uh, Spearmen in the front. Halberds need to move up the Great Longmars, counter charging into the Furies, and it is a bedlam in the back here. The mighty Dragon of Blooded Yord goes toe to toe with the uh, Herald of Snesh. Actually, jumps and weaves through the spinning, twirling blades of that pesky chariot. We do also get. A bit of a buff go down here. The Locusts of Grace increasing physical resistance and melee defense, as well as a Fury Summon. And Sinesh are chucking all to the wall. We have Seekers of Sinesh diving into the back line. Looks like the crossbowmen are running all over the place. The Great Longmar Riders are really getting stretched thin, knowing where to land, who to shut down. There's so many forces breaking down the back line of Grand Cafe. The Dragonblood Lord has got up into the skies once more. Halberdiers are attempting to hold their own, but look at that chariot. Such good mass on it. I mean, it is pulled by four kind of evil walking seahorses. It is able to drag its way through and break up this formation really successfully. Look at the wavering troops down there on the side. But the Great Lomar Riders, wherever they go, wherever they land, Grand Cafe is having a lot of success. Demonets are able to get a cheeky rear attack. This is the dream situation for a Snesh player. 
pin an enemy in the front with the Marauders and then spank them in the butt with the Demonettes of Sinesh. And you can see the Jade Warriors don't like that very much at all and shall be running away. We get another Lash. Watch out! Come down there on the Jade Warriors. Doing some pretty decent damage, but likewise a Dragon Breath attack. My god, what is up with that spell? Did it get like secretly buffed or something? It is shredding. Maybe it's because Snatch has such poor armor. Maybe I've been using this spell wrong the entire time. But up to 108 kills now on this Dragon Blooded Lord is really bringing the pain to the enemy. The Long Mar Riders floating around up to no good and starting troubles in many a demon's neighborhood. Even as the Snatch are starting to force their way through. But the Seeker Chariots are starting to get a little bit taken down. Long Mars are doing the old um, kind of two step bump and grind dance move there as they go after those Seeker Chariots. Some of them land in, some of them not. Herald has made it to relative safety, but definitely wants to continue cycle charging where possible into the enemy halberds and uh, just keep moving, basically. A little lash goes down. That's going to really hurt the Jade Warriors significantly. Who are struggling up against the Demonettes, but another breath attack comes in. My god, 123 kills. We do get some nice cavalry sandwiching, though, with the Lord to try to rectify this situation in the middle, which got rather messy rather quickly. You see those Demonettes starting to waver and disappear. As we get to yet more magic come down, a Jade Shield popped on some Halberds who are just about clinging on for dear life. That physical resistance, or damage resistance I should say, is going to help massively. Particularly the Longmars cycle charging in like this. They're able to hold the ground. They're about to break. They're able to hold a little while longer. And it looks like it's going to be enough to fend off the Seekers. Very close game so far. Bounce Pass actually significantly in the favor of Grand Cafe, which is interesting. I mean, they've got a lot of Longmars left, I suppose, which is really going for them. And their Lord is healthy. But another breath attack. Devastating magic is being brought to the battlefield today. And I am all for it. You can see 188 kills on the Dragon Blooded Lord. Mwah, beautiful performance so far. Longmar's going to continue to cycle charge to their heart's content. The Marauders of Snash are really struggling quite badly. Despite the fact they're getting this melee defense and physical resistance, the great Longmar riders care very little for your petty resistances. They will still sever your head from your shoulders. We do get a Chaos Furies summon here. It looks like the uh, Herald is trying to find a place to go. Really wants to be dishing out the pain to infantry, but there's just not that much left for Grand Cafe. Now, there is Jade Warrior Crossbowman coming back. You could float out to the sides, and it looks like that's just what the Lord is going to be doing. Jumping on the Crossbowman in an attempt to finish them off. And up in the skies, this is really bad. Narcissism goes down, pinning in the Dragon at Blooded Lord, allowing the Furies to rip and tear. This could be a fantastic way back into the game for Sinesh. But certainly it's starting to struggle a little bit. They can kill this Lord. I mean, the Coldest Sinesh as well as the Herald can certainly do a bit of a number here over the Longmar Riders who are currently rampaging due to fascination. And uh, yeah, that's not going to be going good for them whatsoever. They're all taking significant damage. Rather wisely, the Dragon Blooded Lord is running away to fight another day. Up to nearly 200 kills. It looks like the Longmars are able to calm themselves down and charge into the Furies, looking to overwhelm them and hopefully drag them down, save their lord. If that is the case, I think Grand Cafe are going to be in a fantastic situation. We do get the Lash come down, and it does seem to affect some of the units in the air, maybe? No, there's a Furies dropping down. I don't think that affects air units, unfortunately, but maybe I'm wrong there. The Great Longmar is going to swoop down, aiming at the Cultist, who's having a bit of a day. Up to 51 kills so far, dragging down the Great Longmars. I doubt they've got any summons left. If they do, that'd be really clutch right about now. Look at those twirling animations. Looking like, um, there was a TV series, no, a film series called Underworld. You look like a vampire from there with all her twirls and tricks, kind of hacking and slashing at the Great Longmars. Now, we do have some Rawlers of Snatch coming in to support. The Lord is just yeeting away. Save me! Save me as the Longmars are just flapping in their face, getting nice and aggressive. Herald is going to play popping some spells and pointing forwards as they charge into the deep, perhaps for the last time. The Longmar Riders do get finished off here. Coldest of Snatch going to be doing a big hand in that. We still have a relatively healthy unit of Great Longmars, unfortunately. Plus the 66 Halberds. That is gnarly stuff. There's nothing left to kill the Dragon Blooded Lord. They can simply hang out in the skies all day. Save up that Winds of Magic and bring the pain. 196 kills. Very impressive work so far. Although the Herald of Solanesh is up to 168. So they're kind of going tit for tat here. Good play by the Sinesh player. Dragging in the Long Mars to the infantry. It's the best bet you're going to have. And we do get a Jade Shield go down as well as an Acquiescence on top of the Great Long Mars. That's going to kind of cancel each other out a little bit there. Very close fight though. The Halberds are barely clinging on for dear life. The majority of the forces are running away. Great Long Mars are bumping up and down. The Halberds continuing to try to fight. The longer they fight, the worse and worse this is going to be. For the Herald of Sonesh, who looks like they may indeed go down here, as well as the Cultist making a 
rather vicious last stand in the center, but the Great Lawnmower Riders are just so healthy. Even with Fascination going down on them, rampaging them, they're going to get in there and do the business, and it looks like it shall be a defeat for the forces of Grand Cafe. A Pyrrhic... Wait, they won? Yes, no, they did win. What am I talking about? Oh my god, I'm going mental. Don't worry about me, guys. It's pretty early in the morning for me here. I, for some reason, thought it would pop up with the Slanesh. Yeah, why didn't it pop up with the Slanesh, then? That is so bizarre. Is that a bug, or has that always happened? Now I think I may be going insane, guys. You may be seeing me losing my mind. I swear it, would, it should have popped up with Slanesh saying Valiant Defeat, rather than Grand Cafe saying Pyrrhic Victory, because this replay is from the guy who sent in Slanesh. Who knows, maybe I'm insane, maybe I'm not, but either way, it is going to be a valiant defeat for the forces of Sinesh. I thought they won there instantly, I was like, oh my god, that's insane. Uh, but uh, very well played to both these guys, that's an insane game. Both these chads have been on the channel quite a bit before, World Beater and Cat Morgan. Always fantastic to have them here, and some massive damage. 213 kills with 1.8k on the Herald of Sinesh, but certainly outdone by the mighty Dragon-Blooded Lord, who I thought was fantastic. Less kills, 198 2.3k value, so getting a bit more value, and I would argue a bit more use out of the magic as well, and that was one of the big determining factors of this fight. Hope you guys enjoyed it, it was awesome, good fun to cast, and uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a big fat juicy thumbs up as well, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, it uh, really helps out massively, and uh, yeah, it only takes a couple of seconds. There is a uh, links as well in the description to Twitch, Patreon, Discord, if you'd like to support the channel in those different methods. Discord is where you can submit replays. And feel free to leave a comment down below what you thought of the game, if you were very impressed with the Longmire Rider play like I was, and what you would like to see in the future. But that's it from me today. Until next time, guys. Peace, peace. And as always, stay awesome.